the next question is there any specific hadith which says to cover your head before entering the bathroom or while reading the Quran as far as my knowledge is concerned I don't know of any hadith in which the Prophet covered his head while going to the toilet for the call of nature I don't know of any hadith of the Prophet or the Prophet but there is a hadith or Ibn Arwa he mentioned that that his father said that Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him when he entered when he went for the call of nature in an open place he covered his head for feeling ashamed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so there is an hadith in which the first caliph of Islam that Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him and it's a Sahih hadith that whenever he went in an open place for call of nature he felt ashamed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he covered his head so if someone wants to cover the head while going for call of nature it's no problem but this is when Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him went in an open ground not in a closed toilet so this will not be applicable for a closed toilet but if someone wants to cover the head in the closed toilet no problem but you cannot say it is a sunnah to cover the head in a closed toilet this also if you want to follow the actions of of Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him he was the first caliph of Islam and the most amongst the full Muslim ummah not counting the Anbiya he alone is heavier than the full Muslim ummah but this also the hadith is very clear cut in an open place so if you go for call of nature in open ground and you cover that you can say them following the actions of the first caliph of Islam it will be good to serve up but a normal closed toilet this is not what Abu Bakr may Allah pleased with him did but if someone does it there is no problem but it is not a sunnah the second part of the question that is covering the head while reading Quran a sunnah there is no evidence in anywhere in the Quran or the hadith in which you have to cover your head while reading the Quran so it's not that you have to cover your head while reading the Quran but there are there is that the Prophet when he went out normally out of the house he used to cover the covering that generally in the sunnah so there is no evidence while reading the Quran should cover the head but in certain cultures and certain parts of the world like India, Pakistan etc covering the head is there for respect so if someone follows the culture and covers the head while reading the Quran there is no harm but he should not say it is part of Islam so if someone says it is part of Islam to cover the head while reading the Quran this is wrong but if someone does it because he's an Indian or he's a Pakistani and he wants to give respect to the Quran because of culture it is permitted but it's not part of Islam it is part of the culture so you're following culture to give respect and you're covering your head because it's part of the of your culture to cover the head for respect and in that way while reading the Quran you read there is no harm but to say it is part of Islam that is wrong if someone covers the head because of the culture there is no harm at all he can continue covering but it's not part of the deen that you have to cover the head while reading the Quran but generally the Prophet whenever he went outside and there are more this like Shri Nasr al says that if a narrator did not cover his head when he was traveling outside he was not considered to be a part of the narrator it's not authentic I mean those people are strict muhaddis so of course covering the head generally is part of it is sunnah some scholars say sunnah some say muba so in that context it's different but there's no evidence covering the head is required while reading the Quran I hope this answers the question <laughs>